In this video, we are going to start building our house on the rock. Stay put. So hello everyone, welcome to another video of this channel. My name is Nuno Matias. If you're here for the first time, in this channel I help you to know Jesus Christ, how to get closer to Him, how to live in freedom and a happy life, to know your purpose for this life. So if you're interested, consider to subscribe, click on the bell notification so you will not miss any of the future videos. And we are going to start building our life upon the rock. So today the title of this study is Jesus, our solution. So many people have heard about this name, Jesus Christ. Many of them, they don't know who really Jesus is. Many people also look for the solution of their problems in many ways. But today we are going to learn why Jesus is the only solution. So the first question is, who is Jesus? And to know the answer, we are going to open our Bibles. Today I'm going to use the Worldview Study Bible in the Christian Standard Bible version. And we are going to open our Bibles in Philippians chapter 2, verse 5. And the Bible says, Adopt the same attitude as that of Jesus Christ, who existing in the form of God, did not consider equally with God as something to be exploited. Instead, he emptied himself by assuming the form of the servant, taking on the likeness of humanity. And when he had come as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even the death on a cross. The Bible is not telling us that there was a man that became God, but rather there was God that became men. So why did Jesus have to come to, to the earth? He had to come to pay for the sins of the humanity. In the beginning, Adam and Eve, they sinned against God and evil entered in the earth. When God created men, he created to be eternal, not to die, not to have disease, not to have troubles, not to have problems, and so on and so forth. So God had a plan. He undressed himself from his glory and he came down to the earth and became a man, as we read it just before. So what are the attributes of Jesus Christ? Jesus is eternal, is omnipresent, is in everywhere at the same time, is omniconscious, he knows everything, and is omnipowerful, which means he has all the power. Jesus being God, he knows everything, is in the same place at the same time, and he has all the power. Now we are going to open our Bibles in John chapter 1, verse 1. And the Bible says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. All things were created through him, and apart from him not one thing was created that has been created. So in here we see words with capital letter. The Word, the Word of God, not only was with God, God the Father, but was also God. So Jesus is the Word of God. So when God spoke in the beginning, let, let there be, be light, light, he spoke Jesus. Jesus was not called as Jesus before he entered the earth, before he became a man. His name was the Word. In the verse 14 of the same chapter we can read, The Word became flesh and dwelt among us. We observed his glory, the glory as the one and only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. So we can see the Word became flesh. Something that was not physic became physic. And in this case is not something but someone. Jesus was not physic, but he became physic in a body as a man. So if we go back to Philippians chapter 2, we continue on reading the next verses. And the Bible says, For this reason God highly exalted him, and gave him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus every knee will bow, in heaven and on the earth and under the earth, and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. So we see here God the Father, and we see here God Jesus Christ. That's another study for another moment about the Trinity, but today we are speaking only about Jesus being the solution. We are going to open our Bibles in John chapter 15, verse 1, where Jesus is speaking and he says, I am the true vine, and my Father is the gardener. Every branch in me that does not produce fruit, 
he removes and he prunes every branch that produces fruit so that it will produce more fruit. Verse 5 I am the vine, you are the branches. The one who remains in me and I in him produces much fruit because you cannot do nothing without me. Verse 7 If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you want and it will be done for you. So Jesus is saying here, we are like the branches on the vine. If the branch is out of the, the trunk, it's going to dry off and die. Just like us. If we are not connected to Jesus Christ, we are going to rot. We are going to dry off. We are going to die. So this is why Jesus is the solution for everything in our lives. Jesus is the reason that we live. Because he is the life. He is the creator of the universe. Nothing was created without him. So we are his creation. So this is a short but powerful study. If you were edified, like this video, subscribe if you haven't already and share with your friends if you will. If you're here for the first time, you learn in this video that Jesus is God. He is the creator. He is the beginning of everything. Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. There's no life without Jesus Christ. If you decide to give your life to Jesus Christ on this day, Contact me via email and I will help you to know Jesus Christ more closely. And that's it for today. I'll see you in the next video and I give all the praise and the glory for our Lord Jesus Christ. Bye bye.